previously on Hell's Kitchen. Get it, girl. I'm pretty good on my feet, so I'm, I'm hoping it's a dance challenge. The reconfigured teams learned they would cook for the International Ballroom Invitational. Your time starts now. Let's go. Six stunning entrees. In a tasting menu challenge, new blue team member Wendy impressed the judges with her al pastor style chicken. The taste was really nice, and the combination is great. This is resurrected Phoenix on fire, Wendy. But Kimberly's miso sea bass and Asian vegetables. They're absolutely excellent. I'm going to come back to the restaurant and have this. And Ryan's Indian-inspired pan-seared filet. Wow, that's really that is lovely. Excellent. Clinched yeah. the victory for the red team. Good job, guys. Yeah. Prior to dinner service, even though Shayna pestered Johnny, he refused to sear the sea bass in advance. We don't rest any of our fish over here. The sea bass, you sure? Uh, we do all our fish like that. At dinner service, Ryan and Kimberly. Have these fillets been back on at all? I know how to do meat. I got it. Battled on the meat station. Talk as a team and not down to me. You are not my boss. Thank you. Kim, let me help you or else we're all going to go down. But in spite of that, the new red team had their best dinner service yet. Beefy cooked. Thank you, chef. In the blue kitchen. What do you need with the risottos? Capellinis or carbonaras? I'm not even sure. Holly and Wendy's confusion on appetizers. You're not organized. You're just dumping shit on top of shit on top of shit. And Johnny's failure on the sea bass. We've always said, no one will us, we do it. Created chaos in the kitchen. I was holding him. I told him, I told him to sear the fish. I told him, I told him, I told him. And when Devin delivered raw chicken. Hey, blue team, storeroom, now. Chef Ramsey knew it was time for him to say. Fuck off, the red team's gonna finish your service. During deliberation, Johnny once again decided that his best defense was to go on the offense. I think it should be Wendy and Devin. What am I supposed to do when you guys are telling it's me that? Fine, fuck? give up. She's already said, I'm put me up. I did not say I gave up. You didn't say you did gave you up. Say, you said, I put me up. Not. At elimination, blue team, have you reached a consensus? No, chef, we have not. The blue team somehow ended up oh with God. three nominees instead of two. Holly, Johnny, Wendy. In the end, it was. Johnny, who could not dodge the bullet this time and had to say goodbye to his dream of becoming head chef at Yardbird Southern Table and Bar at the Venetian in Las Vegas. And now, the continuation of Hell's Kitchen. Blue team, fuck off. Yes, chef. Red team, thank you. You're welcome, Good night. chef. I'm so pissed right now. Cannot believe that shit, bro. Yo, cause you know they let him fail, bro. Cause all them motherfuckers was standing right in the kitchen when he she said sear off the fish, yo, and then he said nothing to him. I know, but this isn't your fight right now. I know, bro. It's like it's I fucked know, up. It's though. not your fight. Chef Ramsey's not looking for a jerk to win this competition. It doesn't matter how funny or how rude you can be. It's it's pretty much putting your cooking skills where your mouth is. And unfortunately, we saw Johnny's cooking skills are not up to par. I don't understand. You guys are on the other team. You guys are all like crying for Johnny. Let's call it what it is. He didn't do the right thing to save himself. I'm not over there. I don't know what the fuck happened with you guys. Don't speculate on things you can't speak on, you know what I mean? Because you weren't there. I lost my boy too, but my man was fucking up left and right today. He's by, he's, I'm the closest one to him. I see the big black curtain, and the only thing I can think of really is, do we have visitors? The single most important quality that every great chef has, palate. <laughs> that is why this is the one challenge that I bring back year after year, 
this is the 16th annual blind taste test. Yeah! That's right. My palate's not good. Oh, looking forward to the blind taste test so I can humiliate myself. Now, today's taste test is going to be especially difficult because I'll be taking away texture as you try to locate the flavor that's in baby food. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. <laughs> there is one more tiny little adjustment this year. Oh, God. I called it. No. Oh, oh shit. Oh, my God. We have huge high chairs. And then I look down, and there's this spoon catapult. We are going to have food flung at us on a huge tasting spoon. No, no, no. Each of you will have a turn in the high chair. Yes. If you get two answers correct out of four, your teammate sitting in the high chair stays clean. Now, if you get three wrong, you're going to be catapulted with a baby food puree. If you get four wrong, your teammate gets splattered again. Oh. Oh, no. I'm black. Don't touch my hair with nothing. <laughs> OMG. Now you're telling me I got to climb my big behind up in a high chair? I don't want to be splatted. That's it. Now, blue team, because you have one less chef, you decide amongst yourselves who goes twice. First and last. I'll do it. You guys good with that? So, blue team, who's going first and last? Wow, Wendy, love the confidence. Right. Let's start. Heidi versus Wendy. Step forward. Let's go. Taking the chair, Andrew for the red team and Shayna for the blue team. Let's go. Is that thing reinforced? <laughs> Jump in. God. <laughs> Blindfolds on, ladies. In this baby food edition of Chef Ramsay's legendary blind taste test challenge. Heidi, can you hear me? Wakey, wakey. Each chef must identify four different pureed ingredients. Let's start off with something easy. Count. The team with the most correct answers wins the challenge. I feel ridiculous, and Chef feeds me baby food, which is a whole nother level of weird. Turn up. What? Wrong. Shit. It's a carrot, Chef. Well done. Yes! I freaking got this! Onion. Tastes like a roasted onion, Chef. Well done. Come on, Heidi. Parsnip? God damn it. Wrong. Shit. Is she mad at me? I do not want to get covered in baby food, Heidi. Please get the next two right. Please. It's potato, Chef. Yes. Wendy has the best pal on our team. She's killing it out of the gate. Potato. Oh, God. Oh. Well done. Peach. Mmm, delicious. Peach is chef. Oh, my God, Heidi, please. Peaches. Oh. Thank God. Good job. Four for four. Oh, oh chef. good job. Swap down. Let's go. Thank God. With the blue team off to an early lead, Devin and Kimberly step up to taste while Wendy and Heidi take their positions in the high chairs. Green beans. Up. Mmm. <laughs> uh, turn up, chef. Wrong. Jesus. Green beans. Yeah. yeah. Well done. Bacon. Easy. Uh, black bean chef. You're from the fucking south. How do you not know bacon? Bro, snap out of this. This is your over for two. Wrong. Fuck. Come on, Kimberly. Oh, no. Bacon? Yeah! Well done. Devin, what the fuck? We had a good lead going into the second person, and now uh, Devin fucked our lead big time. It's four to four, guys. Wendy, stand by. If Devin guesses anything other than mango, Wendy will be splattered. Mango, chef. Wow. <gasps> well done. Mango? Yeah. Yeah. Well done. Delicious avocado. Come on. 
avocado. It's a freaking avocado. Please, for the love of God, say avocado. Come on, Devin. Um... Say avocado! I want to go with turnip, Chef. Ah. He doesn't say avocado. Not at all. It's time. Let it fly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. I looked over there at her, and it's her face. Wow. <laughs> I got her good. Sorry. Let's see if Kimberly gets four for four. Banana? Um, Damn. After a strong performance by Kimberly, she and Devin now take their turn in the high chairs, and Ryan and Coop are the next to have their palates tested. Yeah. We're tied five to five with a mushroom puree. Mm. I feel like I have this. Uh, this is my challenge. I have a great palate. Bring it on. Asparagus? Uh, oh, fuck. Pork? Uh, pork. Mmm. Bell pepper? Onion? Beets. Kimberly, stand by. Parsnip? Uh, no. Peas? Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong. With one ingredient left in this round, Devin is in danger of wearing some baby food, and Kimberly is in danger of wearing even more baby food. Please, 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 please. Apple. <sighs> Apples. Yes. Well done. Ryan, look at the mess of Sorry. Kimberly. I have squash everywhere. It's cold, it's wet, it's slimy, and I smell. It's now Matt and Polly's turn to test their palates. Easy. Come on. Airplane. <laughs> Green beans? Uh, Apricot. Uh, Wild. Polly and Matt remain evenly matched through the sweet potato puree. Sweet, sweet potato. potato. Yeah! But when they taste the peas. Peas. Green beans? Uh, they split. Wrong. Ryan, stand by. I don't want to shower. Pineapple. Mm. Pineapple. Yeah! Well done. Head to self. Good job, Maddie. 10 8. With the red team trailing by two, Heather and Shayna face off. Asparagus. Delicious. Identifying ingredients quickly and confidently. Asparagus? Yeah! Banana? Mm. Yeah! Apples? Uh. Peaches? Uh. Broccoli. Mmm. Delicious. Shayna's face. Chef, did you just put shit in my mouth? What the hell is this? Is this steak? Steak? Wrong. Broccoli? Yeah! yeah! Well done, heads up. Yeah! Last round. With the blue team having a tiny lead, the red team's hopes are with Andrew, who is facing off against Wendy, who was perfect in round one. Strawberries. Mmm. Wendy got four for four the first time. I ain't got nothing to worry about right now. Strawberry? Yes! Yeah. I want to say it's apricot. Uh, oh. <gasps> Wrong. OK, we're tied. We're tied. Eggplant. It tastes like steak. Uh, oh, my god. Wrong. Huh. Come on, Wendy. You did so well in the first round. Yeah, chef. Uh, there aren't excuses, but the baby food smell reeking off of me is wreaking havoc uh, with my ability to tell what this stuff is. <sighs> mm, cauliflower. Let's go. Uh, it tastes like uh, asparagus. Uh, asparagus. Mm. Wrong. I know. Cauliflower. Yeah. Well done. 13 12. And it all comes down to this fennel. If Andrew gets this wrong, blue win. Oh, man. Come on. Fennel? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> well done. 13-13. If Wendy gets this right, blue win. If she gets it wrong, Shelly gets splattered, and we go to sudden death. Turn up. Uh. Oh! Oh! 
<laughs> oh my God, big splash. I mean, a thousand times you couldn't have got a better shot. Shit all in her face, now we're tied. Now we have to go to sudden death. Got this, Wendy. Yeah, bitch. In this sudden death round, Wendy and Andrew will continue tasting until only one of them is able to correctly identify the ingredient. Uh, mushrooms? Oh my God. Oh. I hate him. Green bean? Ah, here it comes. Oh, wow. Damn. This tastes so nasty. Tonics. Mmm. Corn? Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. Andrew fucking sucks. This for the blue team to win. That's the turn up, chef. Yeah! Yeah! Uh -oh. yeah! Well done! Yeah! Yes! Wendy! Well done! Good work, girl! Yes! Oh my god! Extra point, touchdown, goal, all of that. This is me, and I just won this challenge. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, I'm such an idiot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Blue team, well done. Give yourselves a round of yeah. applause. Amazing. Yeah. Wendy, wow. You have the palette of the day. Thank you, chef. Blue team, you are in for an amazing treat. After that performance in the taste test, I'm going to pamper all your senses because all of you, you're in for a day of luxury and relaxation with a personal massage to ease oh. the tension oh. in a oh. stunning penthouse suite oh. at the Intercontinental Hotel. Spa day. The girls on the red team have been begging for this reward since we got here, and now we get to get it. Ha <laughs> ha. Enjoy yourselves. Come back focused. Head to the door and get changed. Thank you, chef. Well done. Red team, whilst the blue team are having an amazing afternoon of pampering, uh, yours will be anything but. Because here today in Hell's Kitchen is D-Day. Matt, which means? Delivery chef. That's right. In truckloads, let me tell you. Every time you hear the horn, run outside and unload all the merchandise. In between each delivery, ensure that both kitchens are fully set up ahead of tonight's service. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Yeah, a lot of work to do. Off we go. Yes, Thank you, chef. Do not hurt yourselves. Yes, yes chef. chef. Oh, I have so much shit on me. Heather, I'm really sad that you got covered in, in baby food, but actually baby food looks pretty good on you. I feel bad we didn't change. win, and I felt like it was on my shoulders. I could have won it, and I didn't. You, you want to lick it off? Maybe you got it somewhere else. Gross. You're lucky I like you. Welcome. Oh, 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 oh. Nice. Yeah. Very good. Very nice. Oh, yeah, let's get let's something. See. Go. Oh, that looks like buffalo wings. <laughs> yeah. And go. Nice. Oh, the sweet is appropriately named because it was freaking sweet. Wow. It's better than being in the kitchen, I tell you that much. That's what you call a view. Just to be able to stand by the door and see all of California. This is truly a reward. Thank you, chef. It's a solid food. It's a massage. Solid, solid, solid food. food. Let's go, yeah. I'm ready to get rubbed down. Oh, we gotta go. Let's go. <laughs> well, today is DD, and it doesn't stand for a boob size. 40 boxes? Yeah. It's fucking delivery day. Fine, let's go. Breath. Two at a time. I, I could do more if I could see. Okay. This loss is definitely on me. I had a chance to win it for the team, and I missed. There you go. I'm gonna take the brunt of this punishment on myself and carry and lift as much shit as I can. Can I fit through the door? Six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> I think Andrew wants to be perfect. <sighs> Can we open the other side? But he's not. Oh, my god. Oh, yeah. I could feel it melting away. Oh, my god. Oh, she's getting every night. Wait a minute, don't forget my feet. Oh yeah. Oh, this is enjoyment right here. OMG. 
That is amazing. Come on, come on, come on. Nah, man, I'm getting sick on. of this shit, man. Oh my Daddy god. Daddy Ice, get out of the ice. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> it's a fuck ton of ice. We got a forklift. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's get it done as best we can. I feel like I'm going to a cake party. The faster it gets off the truck, the faster we move on to the next part. Whoops. Oh, down. That's okay. One more. One more. Are you kidding me, you beast? And hey, guess what? Ice is not the lightest thing on earth. <laughs> Matt, don't carry so many. Easy, Hulk. Just careful. There's so much ice. <laughs> I'm losing them. <laughs> <sighs> Did you guys grab an invoice or? Matt, you grab an invoice? No. Nope. So we're just supposed to have about 52 bags, so right. let's count 52. One, two, three, four, five. Hundred two. How many? Shit, we have 102, guys. We have 102? Yeah. And we only needed 52? Yeah. Damn. Oh, Lord. Please don't make us carry this back out to the truck. Send the rest back. Unbelievable. Yeah, it's not my fault. I wanted to stab somebody. You didn't check the fucking invoice. It's only 52 bags. Send the rest back. Damn. Yeah, it's not my fault. You guys didn't grab the invoice from the driver. Oh, Lord. Come on, guys, hurry up. Yes, yeah, chef. Oh, my oh. God. Why don't you check the invoice, Matt? Fuck that, yo. Stupid. They say unload the ice. I get up there, we start unloading it. It's not my fault. You know what? I needed the workout. I'm looking so hot. <laughs> What's up, Heather? <laughs> Come on. Guys, let's go. Gentlemen. Nice robes, luckies. Don't get too comfortable. You all gonna be wearing that shit home tonight. <laughs> While the blue team wanders back to the dorms, I'll go for a power nap. The red team is focused on prep, feeling good about tonight's dinner service. First stop getting my blood pumping. And themselves. I look so fucking buff today. Look at this shit. Every time I sit in that kitchen, I just pumps my adrenaline. See what you did? See what you did? You got me on my hawk mode. <laughs> I'm cooking all day, and that gets me going. But when you're going to spas and relaxing and getting massaged, you're fucking up. I think the difference between the red team and the blue team right now is the red team is confident in every team member, yeah. while the blue team is not. Heard that. Hey, Chef. Yes. You know, I, I really just want to know, like, what is it that you think that I really need to work on? So what do you need to work on? How long have we got? I haven't got that time. Now fuck off in the kitchen and give me five minutes. I'm so sick of listening to Pauly. He's always up Chef Ramsay's ass. Oh, Chef, how good is this? Chef, is this better than last time? Chef, please, let me lick your asshole. I'm Pauly. I love you. Mourinho. See, Chef. Open house kitchen, please. Let's Service go. Up. As the doors open for dinner service number nine, the restaurant fills quickly with customers excited for an excellent dining experience. I will do the, the Wellington lobster risotto. The Lou de Mer. First customer arriving, guys, yes? Thank you, chef. I'll call tickets, you two talk, give me times. We'll keep it pumping all night, girl. I'm heading the game, let's heading go. the game. Let's let's go. Go. Let's do this. Here we go, blue team. Good luck, let's go. Four covers, table 22. Two risotto, two carbonara. Hurt, yes, chef. chef. Good, let's go. We got five minutes, guys, on two risottos, two carbonaras. Five minutes. This is the actor uh, Just McDermott from The Walking Dead. Thank you. Yeah, you're Walking Dead, the way you perform in the fucking dining room. Four covers, table 50, guys. Two scallop, two risotto, two sea bass, two Wellington. Yes, right. chef. chef. Let's go, Heather. I am ready. Strong start, hot abs. Red team got this. Heidi, drop tail. You got it. Risotto, how long? Two minutes away on the first two uh, risotto. Two minutes on your tails. Me and Shannon are going to knock this out of the park and hit a home run on Hot App Station. Hit me with a little chicken stock, too. Let's pull this shit together and win tonight. Walking with two risotto. Two risotto garnish going up. On your left? Yeah. Delicious. Very nice, Devin. Very nice. Thank you, guys. Good job, Devin. How close are you on two risottos? I'm ready to walk. Walking with two risotto. Two risotto walking. Delicious risotto. Thank really you, good. Chef. Let's go. Heather and I are strong cooks with strong chefs. We're a bunch of bad bitches over here on the red team. If I'm going to have lobster, better be in risotto. It's pretty good. 
just got up to risotto, yes? All right, Coop, I'm walking with the risotto. Follow me with the lobster. Wendy, walk tails, please, three times. We're doing good. It's not time for excitement. It's time for do what we know how to do. Walking to risotto. Scallops, Coop. Scallops right now, chef. Nice and cooked, Coop. Thank you very much, chef. We're rolling, we're calm, we're communicating. Feels great. Now they're communicating as well, you know. Dropping my pasta for the carbonara. How's your carbonaras? Almost done. This is definitely the dream team. I thought our weakest link was going to be Kim. I need two minutes for the carbonara. But she's really good. I'm so impressed with her. Walking with scallops. Walking with carbonara. Chef right behind. Kimberly. Yes, chef. Nice and cooked. Thank you. It's 45 minutes into a flawless dinner service. The lobster is so good. And both kitchens are off to their best start, having already served appetizers to all of their diners. Good. I'm on a full covers table 34, red team. To Ludemer, to Lamb. Yes, right, chef. chef. Two minutes on two Ludemer. All right, I'm going to get ready to walk on garnish then, yeah? Heard yes. walk on garnish. All right. The red team is blowing at this point. Everything is just moving, and we are just pushing full steam ahead. Two Ludemer and two Lamb. It said one Lamb, though. Can you check it's one Lamb or two Lamb? Andrew, check that. I got you. Give me one second. Let me okay, put the screen. Spinach I don't, I don't really have a set. Two Ludemer and two Lamb is the next check. I don't have another Lamb. That's what I was trying to say. What is he saying? What do you need? He, he only has one lamb. He doesn't have two. Two little man, two lamb, yes? Yes, yes chef. chef. Chef, one, one question. Go on. Hurry up. We're going to rush busy. that lamb on that next check. We're down a lamb. We're down a lamb. For that Why, next check. Come here, you. Yes, chef. Why are we down a lamb? Because you're doing garnish. I want to know from the chef, man cooking it. It was just heard one, one lamb, and that's so what I had. I had. No, chef, I have one lamb sitting up top of there. Next table, table two little man, two lamb. Her, chef, and I'll have one out. So look at me. Yes, chef. You've only got one portion of lamb. Yes, chef. So. Did you forget it? No, chef, I did not. I just was told one lamb. Who calls the tickets out? You, chef. I called out two lamb. OK. Every time we open this kitchen, I ask you to put one lamb extra in front. Which I have. You have. So then you've got it then, two lamb. Chef, no, I have one lamb is what so I'm that telling you. means you forgot the order. No, chef, I did not forget the order. I'm Sorry, telling you, I did not hear the it. shit. Okay. Look at me. Eight minutes. Eight minutes. Chef, Look yes. at me. I know it's easy for you, but it's not easy for me. Do you know why it's easy for you? Because you don't fucking care. I do care, Chef. OK, so if you forget, then man up and say, Chef, I forgot to put oh, it chef, in. I forgot. Thank you. Okay. Hey, are you pissed off? No, Chef. You're going to show me some more attitude? No, Chef. I'm fucking waiting. Two Wellington, one Bass, one Luna Mare. Two Wellington, her. Five minutes to the window. Yes, Chef. Her, Chef. While Matt cools his head and fires another lamb, over in the blue kitchen. Four covers, table one. Entree to Lou de Mer, to Lamb. Her chef. Her chef. Her chef. Her. The blue team is counting on Coop on fish and Polly on meat to continue what has so far been a great service. Get this shit right. We know how to do this. Come on. Last time I was on fish, it was a disaster, and it put me up for elimination. So uh, tonight's my redemption. Take Lamb first. Heard that? I'll take the Mare second. I'm walking with the Lamb garnish, Polly. To the Mare walking. Chef, come here, two times. Thank you. Lamb! I got it, I got it. Lamb! Chef, two lamb, hot. Please, 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 please. Come behind with sauce for lamb. Blue team! Blue team! Yes, yeah, Chef. I'm saying it once. How many fillets of fish are we serving for portion? Two, two chef. chef. How come you're the only one who doesn't know? The lamb's still raw, and there's half the fish missing. I'll have another fish for Let's you in four minutes, Chef. Four minutes. Take your lamb back, you fucking idiots. What's going on over there, man? We just knocked it out of the park on hot apps. How long, Coop? Give me two minutes on those two extra pieces of little mare, Chef. Let's go. I'll take the lamb. I'll take the lamb. All right, Chef. Good. Let's go. Go with the lamb, please. I want the loot de mare. How many fillets per portion? Two, Chef. Let's go. With Polly and Coop recovering on their stations, entrees are once again going out to the dining room. There you go. You're welcome. Meanwhile, back in the red kitchen, Chef Ramsay has a question for Matt. How long, then, two bastard Wellington? How long you got, Andrew? You can go two minutes to the window. I'll walk now on garnish. Two minutes to the window. Two minutes to the window. You go two minutes yep, to the window? Yep. All right, let's go. Two minutes to the window, Chef. Chef Ramsay always puts me on the hardest spots because he don't want this thing to be easy for me, and I understand. It doesn't do nothing but make me better. He will not break me. Two sea bass, two wellies? To the window. Wellies up. Wellies up. Mash, please. Right here, Chef. Oh. Come on, put it down, Andrew. Fuck off. Let's go. Right, chef. For your age, the way you move is incredible. You know that? Incredibly slow. 
They're cooked nicely. On your right, Chef, with sea bass. Service, please. Go, you know where we're going, yes? While the Red Kitchen sends entrees out at a brisk pace. Enjoy your fish. Oh, my gosh. That's good. In the blue kitchen, orders are coming in just as quickly. On order, two twos, two covers table two, two covers table 23. Two lamb, one salmon, one sea bass. Yes, chef. Heard, yes, chef. I, I, need, I, need four, I need five minutes, chef. Five minutes to the window. Yes, five yes minutes. chef. Heard, yes. Hey, blue team, can yes, somebody chef. explain to Coop that you don't cook sea bass and salmon, a white fish and oily fish in the same pan? That's like cooking lamb and New York strip in the same pan. Sorry, Chef. What the fuck are you doing, young man? Just doing it the wrong way, Chef. Look at me. Look at me. Yes, Chef. You're screwing you, your team, and me. Yes, Chef. Separate pants. Yes, Chef. Separate pants. One salmon, one sea bass. Two lamb. Four minutes, yes? No, less than four minutes, right? No, I need four minutes. I need four minutes. If the timing is off on any other station, you can really throw the whole kitchen flow off. Come on, Polly, please, get your shit together. You got my salmon, got my sea bass garnish? Yes. Two minutes out in the lamb, I'm walking with the lamb garnish, Polly. Two lamb, one salmon, one sea bass. I need five minutes. I need five. Who should you be telling? I told Coop that I need five. You needed five, five minutes ago. I need five. I need five minutes in order to get it right. It is imperative for me to do everything perfect tonight. If I go up on that black one more time, I'm out. Get my salmon, get my sea bass garnish to the window, please. Yes. Sea bass, salmon, walking, walking. Lamb, two minutes out. Two minutes with this. Blue team. Still two Don't minutes in the lamb? Let me see, let me see, let me see. What is going on? All right, we'll sell it now, let's see. The garnish is in the window. My fucking fish is dying, Polly. It's gonna come back. It's gonna come, it's gonna come right back. Thanks, guys, you just screwed me. You just sent me home, guys. You just sent me home because you screwed me on the time. I asked for two minutes. Jesus Christ almighty. I asked for two minutes, and you guys couldn't give me two minutes. I asked for two minutes. That's what I asked for, two minutes. Shut the fuck up. I hey, know, I know. Hey, blue team. Blue team! Yes, yes chef. chef. That's not two minutes away. OK, FYI, it's non-stop. Hey, hey. Hey, 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 hey. Out, 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 and out. Because you think I'm going to serve that shit. You eat it. Now, all of you, fuck off. Yes, Chef. Back to the dorms to nominate somebody once again on the blue team. Hey, 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 are you serious? The entire team have given up. And for the last 30 minutes, there's no team effort, there's no fight back, there's no passion. Halfway through, we switched off. And you've been trying all night. I have been trying all night. Right, I have okay, not so, given up. So I what do you want? I want, to, I want to stay here. Yeah, well, do you know what I want you to do? I eat that shit, then come back down and tell me how fucking good it was. Bon appetit! While the blue chefs are told to eat their mistakes, Chef Ramsay pressures the red team for perfection. One Luda Mayor, one Bass, two Wellington, yes? Yes, Chef. Matt, Matt, listen to me. Three minutes, we're gonna walk on two strips, okay? Okay, hurry. I All got right. that, I got that. Blue de mer. One minute, Chef. The blue team just got kicked out of the kitchen. And this is the last check. Make sure it's absolutely perfect. Red team's gonna win this one. All right, I'm walking on strip garnish now. Send in New York first, okay? Let's go, sea bass, Heidi. Coming right now, Chef. Come through, come through. Hi. Go, 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 go. Ready to walk on two strips and two bass, right? I'm ready on the New York right now, Chef. Push it, guys, push it, just drive it. Service, please. Wow, wow. Motherfucker, why the fuck can't we fucking do this? Shit! Cool, settle down. You're breaking the fucking chairs. Grow the fuck up. Why don't you check yourself and realize that you and Paulie both deserve to go up? When did we get lost? At communication? The sixth time. Coop, you were not communicating. I asked him for more time, and he put up this fucking sea But it's bath. all, it's a collective thing. Sure, but I I'm... I should have kept talking. I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm talking, and he's just pushing shit up. Why are you putting up those two sea baths? How many fucking times did you call five minutes? Coop, you fucked up all day today. You fucked up all day. You're going up there no matter what. So the fuck are you? You think that these three aren't going to put us both the fuck up? Holy fucked us royal. We look like fucking idiots. You're full of shit, man. And you come back here breaking shit. I don't understand what that fucking is about. 
Pauly, you're lucky that was just a chair and not your fucking face off of the fireplace, you little piece of shit. I'm not a stupid man, Coop. You had an agenda and you're letting people fail. You got what you wanted now, Coop. Coop is a piece of shit. I swear to God, I'm starting to see his game. He's trying to get rid of his competition. I don't trust this kid. He's just very slimy. Well, think whatever the fuck you want. That's fine. If I'm asking for more time and you're putting shit up, why are you doing that? So you can look good. You fucked me. You know you did. You fucked us all, motherfucker. Get the you fuck. fucked us all because you don't know how long it takes to cook lamb. You want to keep finding, pushing this bullshit on me? Yep. You're so weak, yep. it's ridiculous. You're the Let's weakest one. You're the weakest one. There. You're the weakest one, bro. You I die on every station. Oh, yeah. In a service where both kitchens started off strong, the red team survived while the blue team imploded and now must reveal the two nominees for elimination. I thought that tonight was going to be the night that it was going to be smooth. Uh, Red Team, you were far from perfect. Let's get that right. But you did manage to finish service. Blue Team, have you reached the consensus? Yes. yes chef. Devin, Blue Team's first nominee and why? Uh, first nominee is Pauly Chef. Uh, I mean, from the very first Wellington that came back cold to the lamb that was raw, it was um, a bad dinner service for him. Second nominee and why? Uh, second nomination uh, was Coop Chef. Fish station um, just could not keep up. Paulie, Coop, step forward. Paulie, why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen? I want to be here. I keep fighting and always giving you 100%. You know when you look in my eyes, I'm always trying my hardest. I deserve to be here. Coop, why should you stay over Paulie? Chef, I should stay here because I think I've garnered more respect by my team than Pauly has. And I think that without Pauly here, we will have more accurate times. I think we'll be faster. I think we'll be better with myself over Pauly. How do you rate your performance tonight? I think that my performance tonight should be a six or a seven. Could have been much, much better. How would you rate Pauly's performance? Five out of 10. Five. What is it with you two? Pauly thinks that I have something out for there to him. Really? Yes, Chef. Chef. I asked him for more time. I was begging him for more time. And as soon as I asked him for five minutes, he pushed the sea bass up to say, hey, I got my stuff up here. Where's yours? And then when we get back to the back, he's smashing chairs and irate, can't control his anger. I don't think that that's somebody who's a leader or a team player. Coop, is this true? Yeah, I did. I killed a chair in the back. I don't feel good about that, but I am not going to tank anybody because I treat this just like a job, chef. I'm so pissed off that we can't do this. I, I can't fucking stand that. I feel like a fucking idiot standing up here because we can't complete dinner service. And then I get accused of sandbagging somebody, but yet all I want to do is finish. Tough on this one because you both sucked and you both butted heads and you both wouldn't listen. My decision is... Paulie. Back in line. Coop, get here. The longer you've stayed in this competition, the more I realized that you are not backing up the talking. You're not ready. Thank you for the opportunity, Chef. Thank you, Kim. Thank you. Good night. I'm pissed off right now. Pauly definitely deserves to be out here. Anytime Pauly makes a mistake, it's not Pauly's fault. He thinks he's much better than he is. I'm tired of listening to people say how good they are when they're not. Fuck you, Pauly. You fucking little ingrate piece of shit Napoleon complex motherfucker. Pauly. Yes, Chef. You're on thin ice and I'm watching every move you make. Is that clear? Yes, Chef. Blue team, get out of there. Yes, Red chef. chef. Red team, stay where you are. Red team, you know what's coming next. The blue team is now down two chefs. You need to decide amongst yourselves who's got it in them to get them turned around. I want your answer in the morning. Yes, yes, chef. yes chef. Good night. Thank you, Good night, Chef. chef. At this point in time, nobody's comfortable going to the blue team. There's too much brokenness to that team that I don't even know if it's fixable. I don't want to go to the blue team, but red, blue, or black, I'm going to kick ass no matter where I'm at. I'm going to put up a hell of a fight to stay on the red team. The claws are coming out. I just hope I'm not the one going to the blue team. 
Like many chefs, Coop could talk the talk, but after witnessing his cooking, I told him to walk the walk. Next time on Hell's Kitchen. Don't let your ego get in the way, Matt. I don't give a shit what my team thinks. When one chef thinks he's top dog. I'm doing what you say. Clap for one minute and just listen. I'm a chef for a reason. I'm not here to get critiqued by somebody that don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Will he bite off more than he can chew? Some of you fucking dare throw that shit at me. I don't give a fuck. You shut the fuck up. Hey, stop. And when he bears his fangs at Chef Ramsay. Hey, a young man. Will he be muzzled for good? What are you fucking on a tray? My patience is running out. Fuck off. Next time on A Dog hey. Eat Dog. Why the hell are you not helping me up? Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Go Come at me. I go meat fish, so meat fish, fish. So you're blaming me because hey. Lockheed is overcooked? Episode of Hell's Kitchen.